Where Dine and Sam, an Aussie couple determined to live self-sufficiently and off-grid on a 12.5 metre bus conversion. For the last year and a half, we have taken this old school bus and built every inch of her into our future home on wheels, capable of taking us around Australia. One of the biggest factors in making this happen is our solar system. Over the last few months, we have done a lot to prepare the bus to have the solar system installed, including installing secondhand house solar panels, plugging them all together, installing a battery rack, and busting our asses to get the space that'll house our 48 volt Victron Energy solar system ready. At the beginning of the year, we finally got to see our hard work come together with the delivery of our system. This 5,000 watt Victron inverter and 100 lithium ion amp hour battery was custom built and connected in the WISE integrated warehouse before being hand delivered to our property. Well, I should say bus, as we have had to move out of our rental and camp during to a bunch of rainstorms in the area. Needless to say, bus life didn't start as smoothly as we had hoped, but things are now looking up. All right. And now that you're all caught up, let's get our system up and running. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So, today, lots of fun jobs today. Today, my fun jobs turned into a bit of a long day puzzle. All the components had been installed and bolted to the bus, but now I had to connect them all together and get that solar flowing into our system. My first step was to run enough cabling through the exterior wall and connect it to the breakers that were installed by our solar provider, WISE. Nearly forgot a really important thing, which is the cover. That would have been a real pain if I forgot to put that on. That would have been a bit of a nightmare, but didn't get, so we're good. Ugh. Not my shade out here. Right. Next, I had to crimp and install the MC4 connectors to the solar panel side of the system. These are standard solar plugs and their counterparts were waiting for me on the roof. This process I had researched but never actually done myself, so I did have a bit of trouble. My mental state was wearing a little thin as I decided to get this job done in the blazing heat of a 35 degree day and it wasn't coming together. Whew. Working it out. Never done this before, but I'm working it out. I hope I did it right. Clown it clips in. Oh, of course I forget to. <gasps> no! I mean, that's staying on, so that's good. That one failed. I don't even know where my pliers are to fix it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just exhausted. And the last thing I needed was for that to happen. Alright, that one actually feels like it's plugged in now. Looks like a good connection. Could do this up really tight. Alright. Okay, I think I did it. I think it we're good. Oh god. My brain. My poor, poor brain. All right, let's plug this in now. After that, next was threading the solar cable up the side of the bus wall and into the conduit.
Now the reason I'm doing that now is because that'll dictate how much cable I have down the bottom to cable manage, which I'm hoping to do a bit to get it out of the way so we can have more room for storage, but um, yeah, who knows? Got it running right from the top all the way down and into this inlet thing. So now I can give myself plenty of slack. by no means an electrician but what I need to do now is use this multimeter to make sure that the positive is in fact positive and the negative is in fact negative so don't know how this is gonna go but we'll um, I guess we'll see all right so I got positive here negative here so I should see a reading this next process is really important. I needed to make sure the positive current of power coming down the cable was going into the positive breaker and not the other way around. Mm. Getting this backwards could damage our system. I'm seeing an X. So if I go this way, if that X goes away, sorry, I'm seeing a dash. And I'm hoping that doesn't mean that I've got these backwards. Right here, I've got DC000. And if I touch positive to the positive, you can see that negative sign comes up. Comes up negative. And then if I touch the positive to this side, I get a voltage and it stays positive. So I think <laughs> this is my positive. Luckily, I was prompted by Craig from Wise to do this step. My positive was, in fact, running down the negative cable, a symptom of the way I had set up the panels on the roof. Well, it's in. I totally didn't record that though, but yeah. It was the boring part. At this point, the heat of the day became unbearable and I needed a good break down the road at the creek. I'm back to finish off the job. The final job of the day was to connect the battery in our system rack to the rest of the components and then sit back and watch the solar roll in.
Freya. Freya. Puss, puss. Okay, we did it. <sighs> With our system finally being plugged in, we can monitor all of our electrical usage as well as the solar that is coming in. We have now been running off our solar system for about a month and testing out the capabilities of the system, how it's handling both our household fridge, our giant television, me editing and uh, working on videos almost 24 7 <laughs> and just all the other electrical needs that we have in our bus home sam and i will be sitting down really soon to explain how the vrm app works how all the system comes together and what each component is so if that is a video that you're interested in seeing give this one a like follow along so that you get notified when the next video comes out and we will break down everything that we have learned and experienced so far. See you guys next time.